Well, hello there, Internet. This is your favorite uh, tattoo machine geek, and I'm doing my final review for the day. I've done, what well, is number five, I think. I saved this one for last because it's, <clears throat> it's my favorite one. In fact, it's possibly my favorite one of all time. So, a quick little history, you know. Originally, people had um, they had the poke and stick a long time ago. If you want to see really good impressions of that, look up skin and bone tattoo. They don't use machines at all, and the guy does some amazing work. Colin Dale. Anyway, just a little plug for him. Anyway, then you had the uh, coil machines. They're very, that you had to keep adjusting, and um, they're very loud, and you can't adjust the speed as much as I would prefer. But, you know, they're all you had for a while. And then, so then, eventually, just recently, they've come up with the pens, right? Where, you know, you, you all you do is you drop in the cartridge. Drop in the cartridge, boom, off you go. thing is, it's thick, though. That's the problem that we've been having for the past few years. Just how thick they are. So that's why today I like this one here. This I'll show you why this is my favorite one so far. The X1B. It's like it says right there. If I read that. So yeah, I came with a kit. Kit's got all your other, you know, inks and stuff like that. But what you always want to look for is the machine and the power supply. So check this out. Smallest one I've seen. It's see, it's like writing with a sharpie. Now compare it to writing with a I don't know how it's or something. Big difference. This one is a little taller because it has its own battery in it, but still, most of them have. Most of the guns, most of the pens right now have this size of barrel on the front. Where if you compare the two, you can reflect at the same time. Cool. Anyway, if you compare the two, so much easier to hold the smaller one. I mean, seriously, it just fits right in your hand. Real easy. I'm really impressed with that. I'm just over the moon about it. It's just like the normal ones, you know, where you can adjust the depth is still a little stiff right now but be able to oil that we can adjust the depth of the cartridge move things click it on boom and then there you go and but then I got frustrated they just decided to throw cold water on me this morning so I'm looking at these it comes the kit comes with a their own um, power supply cool right these ones are interesting they even have the liner and the shader which is something that some of them have like if you're working with the old school uh, machines the coil machines you'd always have to have one liner and one shader you'd because otherwise you have to keep adjusting them and tweaking them to come from one to the other and that's a real hassle so that's why these are coming into play now so if, I don't know most times though if you're, if you're trading off you're just gonna switch the cable anyway you're not gonna be switching the the whole port but you know, it's an interesting thing. Things to do that though, they sacrifice a little feature that is on the other ones, and I'll show you the other ones here in a minute. I'll be showing you a competitor, competitor um, power supply because of this. So, right, so you turn on, and so you need to be the, like see the liner, the liner, and then we got oh shader, yeah. So, Anyway, liner, shader, so it shows which one is on right there. The various. See, so notice how it's not working right now, though. That's because the way this works is you have to hold it down all the time for it to work. As soon as you, as soon as you step off the, the pedal, it stops. That bugs me. I like it as an option, but not the rule. This one here, the only way you can get it to work is you step on the pedal. 
And there you go. Look how quiet this thing is, though. It's nice. I mean, it's you can do it with a baby in the in the background or whatever. They wouldn't even notice it unless your uh, canvas was screaming. But so yeah, that's where it kind of annoys me because and I've had a few wormholes today. So I mean, a few wormhole power supplies. And so they all work the same way. I was hoping maybe this was a fluke or something, but they're all like this one. So here we got a beat on call one, which is a generic new up and comer. See, one pedal, you know, one for the pedal, one for the uh, machine, right? Now you have the choice of here either you. The same thing, you know, hold it down for it to work. You can have that option, or you can do that light pops on, and if you see another one, this you know what that's for. Now it just keeps it on. Now you're not focusing on the pedal, you're focusing on working on somebody. So the power supply bugs me. I'm, I might take a point off just because of that, but. This thing, though, it's so nice to hold. I mean, if you put just a little bit of, um, you're going to still need to put a little bit of grip on here. It'll help absorb some of the vibration there, but it'll make it a little thicker. Maybe just one, two, one or two loops. But yeah, it's, um, this is my favorite one so far. I've reviewed probably almost like two dozen in the past few years, and this is my favorite one right now. The wormhole, the X1B. Get it today. So get this one and a different power supply. Don't don't get this one. Don't get don't get this one. Get another power supply. One that's that's got a lot of good reviews. Bummer wormhole. But anyway, otherwise, if you're just grading on the machine, yeah, this is the one you want right now, as far as I can tell. All the ones I've seen nice and small like we like them right thanks